Welcome to Naresai Technologies. This is Ramchandar. In this video, I am going to discuss about constructor method reference. How our constructor logic will become a implementation for any particular functional interface related method. So, already in the last two videos, I did discuss two types of uh, method references. One is static method reference, another one is non-static method reference. So, static method reference we are able to develop by using class name as well as what method name. Non-static methods we can able to represent either reference or unreferenced object, reference variable by using reference variable name or object directly and by using what here again colon colon method name. How to develop the constructor method reference simple what is that class name colon colon new class name colon colon new. What is the main intention of the new object creation? So, what is the meaning of object creation? Calling the constructor. That means, internally we are communicating indirectly we are communicating with what here? Constructor through new keyword. So, how can we develop this type of uh, constructor method references in Java language? Very simple. Let me take one first uh, functional interface at the rate of at the rate of functional interface there is one interface i in the interface, there is a method like public void m1 method, public void m1 method by default it will become a abstract no problem at all, no problem at all. Now, there is a class like a and and now this a class having one method public. So, here I want to talk about a constructor, constructor method reference here it is having one constructor. Now, system dot out dot println this is this logic is implementation for implementation for m1 of i. Then how this logic will become a implementation for m1? What is the syntax? Very simple. What is this? I am writing i obj equal to so, I obj equal to means we are ready to provide the implementation for interface I related method nothing but M1 method. So, how to provide this uh, implementation for M1 method by using this constructor? Then how to call this uh, constructor by using double colon? So, double colon I want to call the constructor if you want to call the constructor in Java we are using what new keyword. So, new. So, which constructor I am going to call either A or B or C? A. So, we are calling A class constructor by, by using a operator like what? A new operator. Simply, we can say like this also by using new keyword, we can able to create an object for what? Any class. So, here according to this syntax, new keyword is useful for creating an object A. Whenever we creating an object A, automatically this constructor will be executing. Then what internally this method uh, reference will do, uh, method reference operator will do otherwise what, uh, what internally this double colon operator will do? It will create one lambda, that lambda replace it with what here? M1 and whatever the logic which we have in this constructor, that logic placed into where here? Lambda. That means that lambda will become that lambda and uh, this logic become a implementation for m1 method. So, let me execute. If you are executing, we will not get any output. Why? We are not calling that uh, method. Now, obj dot m1 method, obj dot m1 method. Now, observe this logic is the implementation for this logic is the implementation for m1 method of i observe. So, where exactly this logic is available? constructor. So, this constructor is referencing to this M1 method. That is why we are speaking as method reference, method reference, reference to particular method. So, previous in the last two example, we I am taking one uh, static method, one non-static method. In this example, I take one constructor. That static method will reference to M1 method, non-static method will reference to same M1 method. Now, constructor will reference to M1 method. The how the terminology coming to the picture means a logic which reference to particular method, uh, particular method that concept technically called as reference to method. They are uh, uh, they are changing the word like what here method reference. 
So understand or not, any logic already I given in my first video related to method reference I told you especially one point, if you are using any logic, any existing logic as a implementation for any other method, definitely we should go for concept like what here, method reference. So, especially whatever the logic which we have in this constructor is suitable for providing the implementation for what here, this M1 method. So, this we can call as constructor to, this constructor using to, uh, using reference to what here, this M1 method. That is what we are calling as constructor method reference. For example, for example, we have a method like a public wide, public wide test, public wide test, no test, this is what uh, new A, that is the non-static method, definitely we require what object. This non-static method, this non-static method logic referencing to M1 method, simply we can say this uh, test method will reference into M1 method. What type of method it is, is it non-static? So, non-static method referencing to M1 method. For example, if it is a static, for example, it is a, if it is a static, if it is a static, then what happen? Come on, if it is a static, directly we are using the class name. See, a dot test, a colon colon test. So, this method, this method, this method logic will referencing to this M1 method. That is what static method, this is called what here? Static method referencing to this method. That is why they are using the terminology like what here static reference method or referencing to static method. So, these are the types of uh, uh, method references we have in Java. In the next video, I am going to show you a huge program on top of what here method references. That program will highlighting 0 argument with uh, wide, 0 argument with non-wide, argument with wide, argument with what here non-wide. Then in that program, I am going to show you how many lambda expressions can be able to develop by method references internally. That is our next video, isn't it? So, I hope you understand this video. For more videos, please subscribe to channel. Thank you.